Hey folks, how's it going? Well, I hope you're all well. Uh, I appreciate that it's been a while since we've done done this, so let's get straight to it. Let's talk content. So this has been on my mind for a little while now, um, and I thought now's the time to really start approaching the idea again. Um, I'm considering making a a gradual return back to content creation on this channel. Um, I've been thinking about it for a couple of months now, um, mainly because I've really genuinely missed actually making regular content to entertain people on the internet. As much as that sounds odd, you'd think a, a break would be <laughs> would be nice, but I have genuinely missed the community that has been built up on this channel and the community as a whole for the games that I play and the people that support me and that I enjoy working with too. Um, decision has been actually fairly easy to make. Um, a lot of encouragement has come from many people within the community already that you know have asked when I may be, may be returning or and I know that you guys often in the comments section for those who, of you who are regular here will often say when is the next video coming or when are you coming back. I never really wanted to give a solid answer to this because quite simply I didn't know. Um, lots of lots has been going on in the last four years since I really started, um, took a break from content creation. I think the last time I was regularly uploading was in 2016 in fact, I, it may be before that, late 2015. I'm not sure I'll have to check, but I've I've very much missed making content. Um, the reason why I took a break is because I, I quite simply had a lot of things I wanted to focus on. Um, for, either, for those of you who have been following the story, um, I got into the automotive world back in 2016. I got a, um, I got a role as community manager at a company called Drive Tribe, which... Um, which was involved with Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May. And for those of you who don't know who they are, those are the Top Gear guys um, on BBC and now the Grand Tour. So my career sort of started to get moving the way that I wanted it to be going um, in 2016. And that sort of carried on, on through to 2017, 2018, 2019 and now 2020. However, I now feel in the position where I actually want to come back and, and start creating fresh content. I've now got a little bit more time on my hands and what to what better to do with that time than to rekindle my love and that spark for that community and content creation that I've been doing for so long um, in the previous years. I think my YouTube channel first started up in 2011 and I started up with a webcam recording Call of Duty gameplay. and. Um, <laughs> it's needless to say technology has come on a bit since then and so has uh, has, has the video content um, but the break was necessary I felt that I was getting very burnt out with content creation at the time and I think that despite you know having a very solid community here who are always willing to watch the content it was most certainly the right thing to do um, however that doesn't mean that the content that you're going to be seeing on this channel will be the style that you're used to. Um, I'm very keen on keeping up with the minimalist, very nicely edited, high quality content. So what I'm thinking about doing is coming back and maybe posting one video a week for now. Um, one video a week, whether that be gameplay, whether that be an, an edited video slightly along the lines of, for those, those of you who've been around a while, Babby Tiger, um, most recent being the object TM, those sorts of style of quick, fast-paced, uh, fun gameplay, and also on the the other end of the spectrum, I also want to bring more cinematics to the table because for those of you who who know or may have watched them, obviously on Fly Daily's channel, we have been creating some absolutely stellar videos uh, for War Thunder, being the first being Dunkirk last year which was a massive success and we got a very very positive reception from the community for that and then most recently we had uh, the midway movie that was on fly's channel now if you haven't checked those out i'll put a link in the description uh, to both of those 
highly recommend you check those out because those were both edited by myself. Uh, I was in both videos and the missions that were, were the base for the gameplay was also created by myself and the very talented Gentle Spy and Avrik. Um, huge shout out to those guys because without them those missions would just would not be possible. Um, those have been some real some of the real reasons why I've really wanted to be to be coming back to this community to be coming back stronger uh, with, with with much better gameplay and much better polishes to videos than before because the skill sets that I've learnt since you've last really seen me doing gameplay and creating videos has been a dramatic increase uh, working in the automotive industry I've had the opportunity to make some phenomenal phenomenal bits of content that I and, and had just have experiences that I would not have been able to have otherwise um, speaking of which uh, obviously when it comes to the YouTube content I will be having a very very minor rebrand it's not going to be anything dramatic so don't want to, don't worry too much about that um, but it's going to be the the channel style is going to be a little more minimalist um, a little bit more design focus cleaner uh, main reason for that is because quite simply my design language from you know from over the past four years has developed as I've got more experience within the industry so I really want to showcase that on this channel so um, you know I'll start maybe I'll start lo losing the logos and start having a little bit more personality in myself into into the content and the graphics that you see on the channel um, speaking of content I'm also thinking about streaming again because um, many of you will remember the key <laughs> the key problem with my content creation back in 20, 2015 and 2016 was I had very poor internet speeds. Fortunately, a lot of that has now been resolved. I've got a very stable upload, upload speed, I've got very good download speed, so we can actually start doing some more community events with streaming again, which is something I'm quite keen on doing. Please do let me down below if streaming is something that you'd be interested in. But I also want to ask you this. Um, Content-wise, I want to know what you like to see. I want to know what you want to see more of. What do you think the community is lacking? Because certainly there will be a lot more War Thunder content coming back to this channel. But I also might might dip my hands in Hell Let Loose. I might dip my hands in Forza. Although I'm not too sure about Forza right now because I do have my other outlet, thebackroads.co.uk. Uh, for all mo motoring based content we're doing a lot of Need for Speed, Test Drive Unlimited 3 and Forza content over there already um, but certainly the military genre will start to make its way back onto this channel, uh, channel. Um, maybe games such as IL-2 because I've got, I've got that, that's quite fun uh, maybe a Return of Armour 3 as well um, I also would love to know for those of you who have been here um for the long run what is your favorite video because i would actually genuinely love to know because i'd love to start getting a feel of what people like and what i can bring to the table in the future speaking of which let's talk about what i've been up to obviously i spoke a little bit earlier about um my career and such but also i've been working on my own automotive um news and content brand called thebackroads.co.uk uh, you may have seen me mention it here and there on videos as well as on my social media. If you don't already, feel free to follow me on Twitter. That's at Liam Freeman underscore. And you're also welcome to follow me on Instagram. That's at Liam D. Freeman. There's a lot of automotive content on there, so it's not particularly War Thunder um, related. But if you are interested in cars, however, or anything along those lines, definitely one for you to check out. Um, I think content wise we've got a big a big range that we can produce I certainly have a nice catalogue of footage that I can start getting, getting to work on straight away I don't know about how we're going to do the schedule just yet um, I may have a set day a week that I do this I might not, I might just do it um, when I get the time away from work or, or, or other such um, opportunities so to speak I've also got the I've got a couple of bits of content already lined up. I've got gameplay um, with myself, a couple of friends, and Fly 
in Churchills. You may have already seen that footage on Fly's channel. However, this will be my perspective of it. Uh, I've also got a lot of obviously unused footage from both Dunkirk and Midway. All of it being my perspective, of course. Um, but I might do super cuts of those as well, so you can like, kind of get the feel of the raw gameplay instead of the edited footage. Um, aside that, I think we're to start off with, we're going to definitely start with um, basic commentary and gameplay with friends, solo, as well as other content creators. Um, I definitely feel like I'm going to rekindle a little bit of that old channel nostalgia and get some of the old guys back that uh, I used to create content with. Um, back in 2015 and 2014 that'd be quite fun to do so keep an eye out for that uh all in all i think i'm just very excited to to be returning um to be returning to creating content i know this has been a long time coming and i know it's something that many of you have been waiting for um i just i felt i needed to hold back until i was absolutely certain that i was in a position where i could finally go you know what okay i'm now feeling like i've got the time I can start investing into this uh, properly again. Because ultimately, whatever I put online is a reflection of of myself. You know, as, as much as it is content for you, I also want to be putting the absolute highest quality content out there that I possibly can. Because for me, every bit of content that leaves my desk is an impression. It's who I am. It's what I bring to the table. So you'll be seeing a lot more um, fresh content for the for the rest of the year hopefully um, obviously this is going to be very subjective on things going on so yes there may be a week where I don't upload um, or the uploads might be late whatever I will be sure to keep you guys in the loop how will I be doing that I'll be using the community tab on my page so if you haven't already be sure to click the bell icon so you always get notifications for when things go live as well as I will probably do be doing the odd update on my Twitter so you are more than welcome to follow me there again all links to my social media will be in the description below feel free to connect with me there I'll be sure to reply as much as I can it's very cool to see what you guys have been up to um, even just to speak you know just how's it going what have you been up to um, I'm just I'm very excited. <laughs> I think that's the best way of putting it. Very excited to see things return. And um, wanted to keep you guys in the loop. But for now, that's all I've got for you today. I shall be looking to get the first piece of gameplay uploaded probably by the end of the week. So maybe even tomorrow. Probably around 7 or 8 p.m. BST. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'm Weeby. Take care, and I'll see you next time.